Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a summer favorites video. So as you guys know, I am on the um, California, Southern California, USA portion of the world. Um, and we are currently in the summer season. So I thought it would be really fun to film a summer favorites. It's been a while since I've done any kind of a favorite video and I thought this would be perfect. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorite little things, tools, um, decks, books, crystals that I'm currently enjoying for this present summer season. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I have my whole <clears throat> bag of tricks here that has like everything. Um, so let's start with books. Let's just get the books out of the way. Or actually, no, let's start with clothes <laughs> since I'm wearing it. Um, so in the summertime, I really enjoy wearing like simple tanks, okay? So <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor, cross leg. Um, but simple tank top. So this is a just a basic black tank top that um, I found at Ross for like $4. And I like to pair it with really a nice little fancy um, kimono. So I love buying oversized kimonos to wear. And a lot of the thing that's in right now is floral. So um, I have a ton of different colors, different floral designs, and I like to pair a beautiful kimono with a basic tank top. And during the day when I'm at home, I wear shorts around the house. So it's like my house shorts. <clears throat> and that is basically my summer wear um, when I'm home, when I go to work, you know, I'll throw on a pair of pants or some or a dress if I'm feeling daring. Um, but for the most part, if I'm going out with friends or with the husband, it's like a pair of jeans with a basic tank and a kimono. That's basically what I wear in the summer. Um, and let's talk about books. So for books, my faves lately, I have been on a major um, Coelho, Coelho, probably pronouncing it wrong, um, kick right now. So I really, really, really am loving The Witch of Portobello. I actually um, reread it a second time and because I was loving it so much, I was like, <clears throat> I think I need to own the, own the book. So I went out and purchased the paperback copy of this. I also am currently reading Veronica Decides to Die. I am reading this one right now. It's I'm almost, almost done with it, um, but it's so good. So I highly recommend Paulo Coelho's fiction writings. He's really known for The Alchemist, um, The Witch of Portobello, Brita. Um, there's Adultery that I'm gonna be reading next. There's a whole bunch of them. The pilgrimage. Um, there's a bunch of books, so <laughs> that's what I've been into. Um, I also have been into poetry, so I have um, Rupi Kaur's um, "The Honey" and the other one, <laughs> but this is the other one that she has, "The Sun and Her Flowers." So um, I've been, you know, picking up some poetry every once in a while when I feel in the mood. Um, it's really inspiring. It is refreshing to read poetry, I feel, in the summertime. Um, it's a quick read, so if you're sitting outside trying to get some sun and you don't want to really invest your mind into like a deep novel, <clears throat> I highly recommend picking up a book of poems and you can have a quick little read um, and it's just so insightful and it gives you stuff to think about and it inspires you. Um, another thing of inspiration are like spiritual books, but that are uplifting and positive. So this one is by Sonia and Sabrina Ch Choquette. Choquette Tolly. It's called You Are Amazing. Um, I've already read this one, but I will pick it up every once in a while because it's, I've highlighted some portions throughout the book. Um, and I have notes and stuff in it that I found really inspiring at the moment while I was reading it. So this is a, um, a help yourself guide for trusting your vibes and reclaiming your magic. So 
learning to love yourself, learning to embrace your true magic. Um, it's a positive read. It is healing. It's uplifting and motivating. And so I highly recommend um, motivating positive spiritual fiction or spiritual nonfiction. Okay. Spiritual fiction because um, a lot of Paulo's um, books are very spiritual related. So really good. Those are like my favorite reads right now. Um, I think that was it for the books. The other thing I pulled was my planner. So this is a planner that I picked up um, <clears throat> I picked this up. Where did I pick this up? Um, I think I got it at Ross with, <laughs> along with all of my kimonos. Um, but it is a planner. It's, it started, it started in June. So it's like one of those like half of the year and then it goes throughout all of 2019. Um, so I really like this planner. It's small, it's paperback and it's very like, flimsy. Um, it's one of those easy ones you could toss in your bag. I have another planner that I use for my business stuff, um, but it's a lot larger and so it's not easy to carry in a purse or, you know, so this is a different one, but um, I like to keep track of just notes, my schedule, TCM appointments, or um, readings that I have to do, or the moon I like to keep track of the moon. I'm starting to kind of keep track of the planets now too as I'm like getting more familiar with astrology, but um, definitely figuring out the, the moon sequences and all of that, the moon cycles. Um, so I do recommend having a little bit of a, like a little planner or something to kind of keep you organized. So that's just something else I threw in there because that's what I've been keeping in my bag. Um, let's talk sprays. So as far as like beauty stuff goes, when it comes to summer, I tend to wear nothing on my face. I just wear <laughs> what I fill my eyebrows in with. Um, I wear a little bit of lip gloss and my mascara. So I will put on mascara on the eyelashes. I will do some shading in of my brows because my brows are sparse and then I will wear a little bit of lip gloss and that's all I wear for makeup. It's very simple. It's very quick. Do it in five minutes. Not even five minutes. Um, it still looks like you're put together, you know. I just don't have like the foundation on my skin. But it's simple and it's light. And that's the whole point for summer is you want light um, makeup because it's you're sweaty or you're it's hot you know so the other thing I really like is um, lavender scented anything <laughs> so this is zoom mist it's lavender aroma room and body mist so you could spray this on your body you could also spray this in your room I tend to spray this in my reading space as you guys have seen in some of my videos um, but it's also one that I could you could spray on yourself so I like to do like an arc around me and let it sit, let it fall on me. And it's lavender, so it's really refreshing. Like lavender is my favorite scent. Um, I also have this California Natural Lavender Body Lotion. I picked this one up at one of the metaphysical shops in Temecula. Um, it's almost, I want to say it's like a little bit more than halfway done. It's probably, it's about like right here. <laughs> so I'm going to have to pick up another one. Um, and it smells so good. So it's lavender scented lotion. So I just put a little bit on. Sometimes I put a whole, a whole glob, but I have a, I don't want to get my ring. And you know, so I'll put the lotion on my hands. Another trick I like to teach some of the ladies is putting lotion in your hair. Um, I like to do this, especially if my hair is frizzy, because in the summertime, I like to not spend as much time doing my hair in the summer, um, using those hot tools and stuff. It's harsh on the hair, but it's also not fun to stand in a sweaty, stuffy bathroom. Um, so I do a quick blow dry, if anything, or I'll let my hair naturally dry. But of course, because of that, I have wavy hair. My hair can get really frizzy. So a tip I have for you is, Put lotion in your hair so you put it in your hand first 
you know, smooth it out a little bit so it's just barely there, and then you run it through your hair. I have been doing that since I've been in high school, um, since I was in high school, and it's always helped kind of settle the, <laughs> the, the crazy frizz and whatnot, and then it leaves your hair smelling like lavender, so that's just a little tip for me to you. <clears throat> but as far as beauty stuff goes, that's about it. Scent, lavender scented lotions, oils too, but I didn't pack any. Um, and some mists, really good. Okay, let's talk about crystals. I'll save the decks for last. So let's talk crystals. So my favorite crystals right now, um, clear quartz. So I will always, always have a clear quartz with me when I'm reading, always have one on the table, always have one in my room, um, always have one in my bag, tumbled versions, obviously, when I'm going out. This is my favorite chunky one that I have. Um, I always have this one on the table when I read. Clear Quartz enhances everything else around you. I have a cute little sun thing. I picked this one up at Sprouts um, a while back. <laughs> so I thought it was appropriate since we're talking about summer. So the crystals that I have been um, working with lately, Opalite, this is my little Opalite crystal skull. He um, was actually in one of the decks that I am gonna be showing you guys in a little bit. Um, but Opalite, I feel is like, it, it, it looks like the rainbow and I just feel like rainbow color, pops of color, brightness. It's all summer vibe. This is um, Black Moonstone. I feel like Black Moonstone is really good for nighttime. Um, you get that pop of shimmer with the Black Moonstone. And um, I really like to hold the palm stones in my hand. Sometimes I pick him up when I'm at work and I'll hold him if I'm feeling a little stressed. Um, but for the most part, I love to work with Black Moonstone at night, summer nights, because of that pop of shimmer. <laughs> um, this is my favorite amethyst point that I have. Um, I've had him for a long time. I think he was one of the first crystals I ever pulled. And actually I'm taking a Reiki course <clears throat> in two weeks and my um, instructor told me to choose a crystal that I wanna consecrate. So I really think I'm gonna take this guy because he's just been my favorite and he has beautiful little specks of flower in him. Um, so we'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. It's kind of hard to pick like your favorite crystal out of a whole group, but Amethyst. Gotta have Amethyst. This is a clear quartz, tumbled clear quartz that I love. <clears throat> if you look closely, there's like cute little, just, just, he looks beautiful. Um, no rainbows in this one. Usually, um, I like to pick a, a tumbled crystal, a clear quartz with rainbow in it, but I don't know. I just like the way he felt, um, and the shape is a little funky. <laughs> so that's a tumbled clear quartz. Like that's what I will carry in my purse when I can't carry this big guy. Um, so for summer, I highly recommend yellow stones. So this is a, um, this is a citrine. Okay. So we have citrine here. This is a raw citrine. Woo. And then <laughs> um, this is, uh, what is this, yellow calcite. So it's it's clear, but it has like a yellow hue to it. Yellow calcite is really good for um, like that solar energy, positivity, abundance. I also like rutilated quartz. For summertime, it reminds me of the rays of the sun. And this particular piece has so much going on in it. The camera is not going to grab it all. But, I mean, you could get lost in the world of rutilated quartz. So, I totally recommend one of those. This one reminds me of the sun rays. And aquamarine. I have been really stuck on aquamarine. I love mermaid vibe for summer. Um... So I didn't pull any of my mermaid decks, which I probably should have, but mermaid vibe is heavy for summertime because of the ocean, the water. Um, it's a splash of water. It's a splash of like mermaid energy <laughs> when you're dealing with a really hot day. 
but also aquamarine for me is really soothing and calming so um, I've been tucking this one in my bra a lot at work when I go to work um, to get me through the day so those are the crystals that I've been working with and recently I picked up this beautiful prayer bead set here so it's moon you can see moon cycles um, and the stones are larvakite, rainbow moonstone, and rainbow obsidian. And I've been holding this while I meditate at night. So it's either been the prayer beads or the black moonstone that I have been holding at night when I meditate. It's just a beautiful energy to work with. It's, it reminds me of the moon. It feels like the moon. Um, so yeah, <laughs> put my rings back on. Okay, um, oh, I forgot the course. Okay, so speaking of the Reiki course that I was talking about. So um, another summer tip that I, or a thing that I like to do for the summer is taking part in some sort of an online course. Um, and Ethany does a huge tarot, um, summer, summer tarot course, some, like a summer school type thing for tarot readers. And there are tons of different readers um, who are teaching their own little classes and you can either purchase a course separate and I think it's $30 for each course or you could purchase in bulk the entire um, the entire summer worth of classes so the one that I chose was Kellyanne's how to give a truly empowering reading um, so this was hers. This, so it came with worksheets and you fill it out and then you watch the videos and it was an amazing course. I finished it the other night. I truly recommend that one. How to give an empowering reading gave me so much inspiration for my own stuff. Um, there's other classes on there that I am interested in taking. So we'll see if I set myself up for another one. But basically you pay for it and then you can do it in your own time um, so they're already pre-recorded videos you just do it at your own pace so that's one thing I recommend is like especially if you're a reader like getting involved in some sort of a spiritual course that will keep you motivated and happy and excited um, for the summer <laughs> um, and then the other one I'm doing is a Reiki course I'm gonna be doing Reiki 1 um, so my instructor will be um, teaching me and one other student so it's a super intimate course that I'm going to be doing where um, we're going to her home and she's going to be teaching us Reiki and attuning us so I'm really excited for that it's going to give me the ability to perform energy healings on myself as well as you know like my husband or Luna my cat Luna she's somewhere around here um, and I really I truly recommend something like that too it's really inspiring, it's really exciting, and it keeps you just pumped throughout the summer because I know summertime, if you're on vacations and stuff, you wanna relax and everything, and sometimes we can get lazy. I know I do. <laughs> when it's hot outside, I don't wanna do anything. Um, but keeping you, your mind like a beat with a course is a lot of fun, so that's another thing I wanted to put up. And last but not least, let's talk decks. So the decks that I have been liking for summer, this is a gorgeous deck bag by Jess Roller again. <laughs> I love her stuff. Um, the Psychic Tarot. So you guys have seen this one. It's been all up on my Instagram. It's very much used and loved. Um, but the Psychic Tarot, it's called a tarot deck, but I don't read it like that. It's more Oracle for me. This is one of my faves. So I've been using that one. Um, I find you can read just about anything. You can answer any kind of question with this deck. So, love it. Um, this deck bag I love, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so it's a pencil case. Um, the Native Spirit Oracle came. Okay. So it comes with a, I keep the guidebook with it because you really need the guidebook to read with this deck. But it's the native spirit and it is gorgeous native american inspired um cards so really pretty the, the whole feel of this deck really calls to me like the desert the native american um 
inspiration, just the feel of it, but it's also a soul spiritual deck. So I recommend reading with this deck if you're doing a spiritual reading for yourself mostly um, or for someone else. But it's really impacted with like things that will make you want to journal about. So if you're big on journaling, this is a good deck to have. <clears throat> The Victorian Flower Oracle. So this one is out of print. Um, it's a little pricey online. I'm not gonna take out all the cards. But this is the Victorian Flower Oracle by Baba Studios. These are the backs. Real gold shimmer, which reminds me of the sun. And then you have these gorgeous like flower people. <laughs> <laughs> it's an oracle deck. Um, this one is has attitude. This one gives attitude when I do readings. So I'm really careful with who I read it for um, because of the attitude it gives. But I love flowers for summer. I just think of like nature. And summer vibe to me is all about nature and being outside. Um, speaking of Baba Studios, this is the Victorian Romantic Tarot. This is the metallic edition. This is the newest one that just came out. So it's gorgeous backs. These blue backs. And we have the metallic overlay on the cards. I love metallic cards. Um, I feel like this just screams summer. Anything metallic, look at this. Anything metallic, um, gold foil, shiny, to me just is all about summer. So that's why I pulled this deck out because <clears throat> I felt like when I'm reading for clients and they see that like shimmer of lights, just like with the with the black old, um, the black moonstone, will you get the shimmer in it? Um, it's just it, to me, it just radiates summer vibe. So usually the Victorian Romantic is one that I pull out in the winter time. But this deck, oh, with the metallic, it's to me, it's totally summer cards. So that's another one. Um, in here, I have the Wonderland Tarot. This is the original. They have a reprint out now, and it's much cheaper on Amazon. But this is the original. So these are the backs, flor flowers, and... It's Alice in Wonderland. And to me, Alice in Wonderland is summery. You're just on a vacation. <laughs> Going on a Wonderland trip, you know? So I love it. These are very fun to work with. They're quite intuitive. Oops. So like I said, this one's this version is out of print, but you can find the reprint and it's in a tin um, on Amazon and it's really cheap. It's a really good price. So I paid like $70, I think, for this deck. But like I said, this is the original, like the first, the first edition that came out. Um, but now that they have a reprinted, it's like, oh, you can get a brand new one, you know? So, oh well. <laughs> Um, the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. This one is another one that is out of print and ridiculously priced. Don't buy it on online right now. Um, but you could get this, um, next year in 2019. They didn't really say when, like it has a sun on the back. You could get this deck for, um, reprint also, and it's going to totally be at an, at an, uh, at an a affordable price. Ooh, my feet are like falling asleep. Um, so this is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. This actually, when I bought this on eBay, it's actually a illegally printed copy. So I do not condone printing, like snapping pictures and printing. That is so bad. I was so upset when I got the deck because it was, I thought I was getting the original. It's not. So, but I, do I still use it? Yeah, I still work with it because, <clears throat> um, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> You know that person and I, I went to go look for their um, their eBay account and they deleted their account so either they got booted off because I did report them um, or or whatever but for the cards being a reprint like that 
they look really good but I immediately as soon as I opened it I immediately knew it wasn't the real one and I was devastated thank God I didn't pay what people are um, pricing that the actual the real copies at right now that they're at like at $400 on eBay I paid 70 for this one which I thought I was getting a steal and in reality I was just getting a fake so fakes do happen you guys um, it is the the risk you take of buying online um, so be very careful but also um, keep in mind because I, I had people ask me if I was still gonna read with it even though it's not um, <laughs> even though it's not the real thing and you know I was back and forth about it because I did feel like oh, that's is it bad to do that like but then I realized you know what it wasn't my fault I was tricked I was told it was the real thing and it wasn't so I do still read with it um, eventually when the reprint comes out next year I'm gonna buy it so in the meantime <laughs> well, that's my deck um, and then last but not least this is the um, illuminated tarot by Carol Herzer it comes in this gorgeous bag that she made but this deck you guys she like recolored all of the cards and they're just so beautiful I love this one for summer I think it's so bright and just beautiful they card the cards pop they're highly laminated so not the best card stock but you're never gonna find a deck like this ever so it's worth it Let me get this one this is like one of my favorites <laughs> um, so yeah I feel like decks that I choose for the summertime are colorful they are metallic or gold foil overlays they resemble the Sun they're fun they're be they're pretty um, but yeah those are the decks that I'm currently working with and that is my um, <clears throat> summary picks for the summer <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye loves